I got really tired of bottoming out on this bike, so I went on Pro Cycle and I bought some heavier springs and I got some 15 weight oil. We're going to be swapping out the springs today on this episode of the Dual Doors. Stay tuned. Most of you know about my homemade LED mount here and my homemade rack, so I'm going to be taking these off. So here's a closer up of my rack I have. It's homemade out of tube steel and my box I have is one of the boxes from Harbor Freight. I really need a sponsorship from Harbor Freight already. <laughs> this bike looks so weird I found the front rack on it now. <laughs> it's so much lighter too. I think I forgot how much weight the LED in that little rack was. So the top bolts here, I'm just gonna crack it loose. I'm not gonna take it all the way off just yet. I'll take it off when it's actually off the bike. Next thing I did, I took off the brake caliper. It's like two bolts. The speedometer cable, then I took off the front fender. There, I got the forks off. This thing looks so weird. I found them off. Never took them off before. <laughs> it's actually pretty easy. I took the little rubber boot off. It's held on by one clamp. It's a Phillips head on the top, and it just slides right off. So using my 19 here, I took off the cap. Right underneath the cap, you're going to find that huge spacer. You can go ahead and junk it if you want. You don't need it anymore. Then you're going to pull out your washer. You're going to save that washer. You're going to need it for when you put your new springs in. And then go ahead and dump out all the old fluid. <laughs> junk this. I want to save this. Once you got that spacer, spring, and your washer out, go ahead and start draining the oil. Don't mind me, neighbor, beating off my bike. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the comparison here from stock to this spring. So, this is the top spring. It's got this giant spacer right here. Look how much more travel you have now. And this spring is like so much more thicker than this one. This is gonna be nice. <laughs> so basically you're gonna do the exact same steps on your other fork. And then once all the old fluid's drained out, get ready to add your new fluid in. So you're gonna use your desired fork oil. You can get five weight, 10 weight, or 15 weight. I honestly probably should've got five, but you're gonna add in eight ounces of your oil. I bought this little measuring cup from the store and it made it so much easier. So once you get done pouring in your oil, you're gonna go ahead and put your spring in, followed by the little washer, and then your spacer, and then the end bolt. And that's it for one fork. Then do the same thing for the other fork. Once you got the new oil in and your new springs in, go ahead and put everything back together. all together let's go try it out in a test track all right let's try it out on a track here it already feels like so much better <laughs> i probably went a little overboard with the oil i used i probably should have used like five weight because i'm only like 180 pounds 
but uh, <laughs> I'll use the 15. But it's oh, it, this track is challenging. It's so sand so loose. But yeah, I, I could already notice like my stock springs would just be like going crazy on this stuff. But it's just like barely moving, which is nice. Let's hit this kind of hard. Yeah, like that was a lot better than the stock, stock springs going over that little curb. Come on, turn into it. <laughs> then the curb. Yeah, that's so much better. Yeah, that little that little bump would bottom me out sometimes. That was like no problems. But uh, I'll get out and ride this weekend, find some technical stuff. Because right now it's not too challenging out here. And uh, I gotta get ready to go to work pretty soon. But um, yeah, thanks for, thanks for watching this short little video. And we'll get out this weekend and actually get on some technical stuff and see how it see how it holds up if you have any questions on the springs or the type of oil i used let me know in the comment section so i'll be testing it out this weekend seeing how it holds up on tight single track and technical stuff also smitification has a pretty good tutorial too on how to change out springs but uh yeah stay tuned for this weekend i'll be posting some more and y'all have a good one now